In today's episode, you will learn how to use BMP180 sensor with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. With the help of this project, you can monitor the temperature, pressure, and altitude values using Blink application from anywhere around the world. This project is based on two way communication. We will be monitoring and controlling both at the same time. This project is based on my previous two tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use BMP180 sensor. This tutorial explains the data sheet and basic circuit diagram. While this tutorial explains the two-way communication between the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and Arduino using the Blink application, I recommend you should first watch these two tutorials for the best understanding. The links are given in the description. Let's get started. The components that we will be needing for this project are number one, Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module, number two, BMP180 sensor, number three, Arduino, number four, 5 into 7 centimeter Vero board, number five, 470 microfarad capacitors. We will need two of these. Number 6 Female DC Socket Number 7 7805 Voltage Regulator First leg is the input Middle one is the ground and the third one is the output Number 8 LED The longer leg is the anode and the shorter one is the cathode Number 9 330 Ohm Resistor Number 10 Female Headers These components can be purchased from Amazon The components purchase links are given in the description this is the complete circuit diagram. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. Let's start with the power supply. 7805 voltage regulator is used to regulate the input voltage at 5 volts. This 5 volts can be used to power up the Node MCU module. If in case you want to use it alone, you can simply connect the output of the voltage regulator with the VN pin of the node MCU and make sure you connect the ground as well. This power supply can also be used to power up the Arduino by connecting its output with the VN pin of the Arduino and removing the wire which is connected with the 5 volt. You can also power up Arduino using a 12 volt adapter. Then you can disconnect this power supply and you can power the node MCU using the Arduino's 5 volt. The TX and RX pins of the node MCU are connected with pin 2 and pin 3 of the Arduino. So the node MCU will communicate serially with Arduino Uno you know, through pin 2 and pin 3. Pin 2 is RX and pin 3 is the TX, which will be defined in the programming using the software serial library. The VN pin of the BMP180 sensor is connected with 3.3 volt of the Arduino. SCL is connected with A5 and SDA is connected with A4 and the ground is connected with the Arduino's ground. NLD is connected with pin number 13 and a 330 ohm resistor is connected in series. I will use the Arduino's onboard LED for the demonstration purposes. I soldered all the components as per the circuit diagram. If you want to learn how to make a power supply for the Node MCU so that it can be easily powered up using a 12 volt adapter or battery, then you should watch my tutorial on Node MCU power supply. The link is given in the description. Open a new project. Set the project name as BMP180. Select Node MCU. And set the connection to Wi Fi. Click the Create button. An authentication token will be sent on your email ID. You can simply copy and paste it in your programming. Now click on the screen and add 3 gauges.
Now this time add a numeric input. Now click on the first gauge, write temperature, click on the pin and select virtual pin V2, change font size and click push and select one second. Now repeat the same steps for the remaining gauges. application is ready now let's uh, have a look at the programming first of all let's start with the Arduino's programming hash include software serial dot h this is the library that would be used for making a serial port on pin number two and pin number three of the Arduino using software serial library we can define multiple serial ports software serial node MCU 2,3 2 is the RX and 3 is the TX. Long integer data. Integer relay 1 equals 13. I will use the LED for demonstration purposes. These are the three variables of the type integer which will be used for storing the temperature, pressure and altitude values. String C data. C data is a variable of the type string which will be used to store the complete message consisting of the sensor values. As you know my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the wide setup and wide loop function. Wide means that this function is not returning any value, while the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. Serial.begin9600 activates the serial communication at board of 9600 This will be used for the debugging purposes. Node MCU.begin9600 activates the serial communication with node MCU connected with pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino and 9600 is a baud rate. Pin mode is a function and it takes two arguments as the input, the pin number or pin name and the status which can be input or output. Sit relays is output, in my case it's an LED, pin mode relay 1 output, pin mode relay 2 output then starts a wide loop function. If node MCU dot available equals equals zero, if we have not received any data from node MCU, then what to do? We simply read the temperature, pressure and altitude and store them in variables. Then we add all the sensor values and store it in variable C data. 
C data equals C data plus S data 1 plus then there is a comma S data 2 again comma plus S data 3 comma will be used as a delimiter serial dot print LNC data this instruction is used for debugging purposes to see the result on serial monitor node MCU dot print LNC data this instruction is used to send sensor value to node MCU delay 2000 delay of 2 seconds is 2000 milliseconds equals to 2 seconds this instruction simply empty the C data variable if node MCU dot available greater than 0 this instruction means if we have received data from node MCU then what to do data is equal to node MCU dot post integer store the value and variable data then there is a delay of 100 milliseconds serial dot print ln data we use this instruction for debugging purposes to check if we are receiving the data then we use f conditions to compare the received value and then turn on and turn off the desired relay f10 then relay one low turns off the led f11 relay one high turns on the ld and so on now let's discuss the node mcu programming before you start the node MCU programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries and you install the node MCU board and you also install a driver for the USB UART. I have a separate video on this. The link is given in the description. These are the four variables of the type integer which will be used to store the values sent from Blink application. I will be using pin value 1 to control an LED connected with pin number 13 of the Arduino. This is the authentication number which was sent via email. I simply copied and pasted over here. This is the name of your Wi-Fi and this is the password. Simple timer timer string my string complete message from Arduino which consists of sensor data character or data received characters integer first value second value third value temperature pressure and altitude values will be stored in these variables this function sends Arduino's uptime every second to virtual pin 1 in the app widgets reading frequency should be set to push this means that you define how often to send data to the blink application Unlike Arduino and Mega, Node MCU has at least two functions which are the wide setup and wide loop function. Wide means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that these functions are not taking any arguments as the input. Serial dot begin 9600 activates the serial communication at border of 9600. Blink dot begin authorization, SSID and password. Set up functions to be called every second. Sensor value 1, sensor value 2 and sensor value 3 are user defined functions which are called every one second. We can change this time. The number of these functions depends on the number of sensors or values we are using. Then starts a while loop function. If serial dot available equals equals 0. This means if we have not received any data from the Arduino, then simply execute these functions blink.run and uh, timer.run. If serial dot available greater than zero, R data equals serial dot read. Read the serial port and store the character in R data. My string equals my string plus R data. This instruction means Add the received character with my string and store it in my string. This condition is used to make sure that the entire message is received. Then we simply divide the entire message into three strings L, M and N. We are using comma as a separator. Then these three instructions are used to convert these strings to integers and store the values and variables first value second value and third value this instruction is used to empty the string these are user defined functions and we simply use these functions to send values to blink application as you can see the first value is stored in is data and then the is data is sent through blink dot virtual write function to the virtual pin v2 
and similarly for the other function. This is a user defined function of the type string and it takes three arguments as the input, the data, separator and index. This function is used to split the string. Blink underscore write v10. This instruction assigns the incoming value from pin v10 to a variable. Serial dot print pin value 1. This instruction is used to send that value to Arduino Omega. I have already uploaded these programs. Now let's watch this project in action. I hope you liked today's episode, like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.